Happening guys, Carl Sir here. So I'm just gonna make this a really quick video. Uh, I've seen that this is a problem when these events come up. People don't read all the way through the event to find out like what counts, what doesn't count, so on. So I've gone ahead and uh, read all the instructions, the, the start times, the end times, the whole shebang. I'm just gonna really quickly point out uh, where it's, how it's gonna work. So this is gonna be a four week event, okay? Each week is separated. You can see right here in the tabs. So during the first week is the only time, like when you do things during this timeline, it only counts for this tab. When the date switches over to the next tab, you can't go back and fill points from before. You can collect the uh, power-up stones that you can see right here from the previous weeks. So if you didn't collect it, that's fine. And you can come down here and collect these rewards. That's also fine. But you can't earn points retroactively. So you can spend them if you've already earned them. But once it switches to week two, you can't earn week one anymore. So also, and this is a big thing that I think usually makes, I mean, this will make a huge difference to some people. Right here at the bottom of this chart where it shows you how to, you know, what everything's worth, it says very specifically, runes acquired via crafting, via, sorry, will be counted. But the runes acquired via magic shop and achievements will not count, okay? So crafting does. Buying them from the magic shop does not. Getting those achievement ones, mostly from the earlier stuff, uh, uh, you know, the ones that give you runes for lapis and all the stuff like that, that does not count. Also, the bullet right above this, basically says that all of the new stuff, the ancient stones and grindstones and the uh, immemorial, all the stuff like that, all of those will be counted using and acquiring them. So if you haven't uh, acquired your uh, uh, labyrinth uh, package yet or, or box yet, you could go do that because you might get lucky and get one. Um, some people save two or three of those at a time. I don't, I don't know. Probably just out of who cares to pick it up or they don't care to pick it up right away. But, you know, not me. I, I'm, I'm all about it. I'm going to stomp them all down right, uh, right in the beginning. So right here is the chart for the four weeks. Uh, PDT, if I'm not mistaken, is game time, server time. So right up here you can see it shows the, yeah, the times that things are going to be available, how much time is remaining exactly, when the, I mean, this is really detailed right here, power-up stones expire. So that's the other thing. Basically, from this event, we're collecting power-up stones. Um, and here's how the power-up stones work. If you've never had a, been around for an event during, uh, you know, with power stump, uh, power-up stones. Wow, if I could talk. Let me just find a rune that I won't hate myself for doing this on really quick. I wasn't planning to do this part, so I wasn't totally prepared. Now i got to find a monster that... Oh, 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 I'm pretty sure my Odin needs a little TLC. Yep, perfect. Uh, it's a 16 speed, so I'll go ahead and do it. So, when you bring up the rune, down at the bottom left, you should see a new thing that I'm clicking on and off right here to help see. These are called power-up stones. What they do is they make the likelihood of success much higher. And I don't know exactly the rate. I It's possible that it's something that can be looked up. I'm going to go ahead and look it up and find out. Maybe I find it, maybe I don't. Um, but... Basically, what this is just going to do is save you a lot of mana. I mean, honestly, that's it's the big thing. It's going to save a ton of mana. So because the amount of power-up stones, there's going to be a lot of them, but they're going to be kind of limited, try to save them for six-star runes and only use it to get from 12 to 15. D even if you're not using it on uh, six-star runes, even if you only get five-star runes or whatever, you know, everybody's a little different, fine, whatever. Um, there we go. See, that took, uh, they took eight runes of, or power-up stones, if I'm not mistaken, and who knows, it might have taken twice that, you know, without power-up stones, so, woot, there you go, Odin, um, whoops, sorry guys, got sidetracked, let's go back to that, uh, so yeah, these power-up stones, um, even if you're gonna use them on a five-star rune, which for some of you will be a perfectly fine idea, still do not use it until it gets to 12 to 15. And as a matter of fact, I usually go from 12 to 13 without the stones and then stop it manually, turn the stones on, and then start it. But this event is giving us so many stones, I probably won't do that this time. I mean, usually when I see stones, I see like, I don't know, 50 stones per event or something like that. 
each week, this is going to give 70 stones. See, this is the, the, well, at maximum. If you, obviously, if you don't farm enough, you won't get all 70. But I, I honestly think it won't be that hard for most people to get the 70 stones. Um, the chart that's up here is, is pretty, you know, if you have any sort of gems and grindstones saved up or you play more than an hour every day, I, I think you really will not have too much trouble because it's a week. We're not talking one day. We're talking seven full days. So, I mean, I really think that this is this is doable. But, yeah, getting 70 a week, then I would basically just say balance it with your mana. Like, right now I'm saving mana uh Every day, I've, I've got a slightly higher mana goal to end the day with because FRR is coming this next uh, this weekend, actually. Um, and I'm actually going to put out a video about that tomorrow. It's going to be kind of late in the week to put it out, so I'm I'm not super super happy about putting it out tomorrow. I, I kind of wanted to put it out tonight, but uh, this video I think just is going to take precedence because I don't I don't want people to mess out miss out on it. Plus, with the event having just dropped. That's the uh, the best likelihood that some of you will be looking for answers. So um, that's basically it. I'm going to let it go here. Just so everybody knows, uh, this is sort of a new channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Um, if you like what you find, likes, shares, and subscriptions are all awesome. I mean, subs especially. Um, like I said, this is a really new channel. It's only I've had it for a couple months, but I've only been really serious for about a week. And I've seen a lot of progress with views and likes. And I really appreciate everybody's. Uh, I mean, constantly just throwing likes, and, and I've got hundreds more views than I than I you know in like four days I picked up a thousand views. I'm totally happy with that. Subscriptions is where it's at right now. I need a thousand subs if I ever want to make this a a. Uh, uh, a profitable account, you know, a money making account, and I do. I want to, I definitely want to be able to do that. So, a thousand subs is the goal, and hopefully, we can get there. And if you want to help us get there, I would greatly appreciate it.